Well, in fact, it's not joining the fleet. Uh, we are mixing the fleet, extending aircraft. Uh, i give you an example. Remember, we had the two cargo aircraft, that, and we are waiting for the certification uh, of EASA. After a modification, one will start uh, flying after the ANAC certification, in fact, next week. And the other one we are transforming back in packs and we'll fly next summer uh, in our fleet. So meaning that that's uh, for the white body. And on the others, we are in fact working on a contract. So uh, extending con uh, aircraft that should be taken out of the fleet. So, but uh, it's uh, an increase for what was planned, okay? Today, no, I cannot share anything. The only thing I can tell you, we are first reinforcing all our frequency to uh, North America, so our gateway in, uh, in the USA, and to uh, Brazil, uh, because we are not today at the level of uh, a frequency we had pre-pandemia. So, and the engine of our profitability, of course, is our long haul. So we want first to restore all this uh, frequency. Uh, we are still uh, fine-tuning uh, our network, but today we don't have any routes to, to announce, so it's more about we just started the budget. We have been publishing already for next year. We are still studying some opportunities, but nothing is finalized. So we are talking about NAS Menzies, okay? So uh, um, to our knowledge, because the process is controlled by the administrator, it's the only contender, so NAS Menzies. They are talking, of course, uh, with the administrator. We are talking with them as a customer. The process is still going on, and um, our hope is that everything will be prepared and well in place uh, for next summer because we need a strong ground force for next summer. On the fleet, um, just to clarify, so we will uh, transform so the one of our cargo aircraft into packs. The other one that was uh, you know transforming uh, cargo will keep flying in cargo. And then the three additional in the top of the one are coming from 321 LRs that are coming into the fit. There is no new order, okay? It's the order that were in place, but there have been some delays in the delivery. So uh, that's the only difference in fleet. And we can do that because we are retiring some ATRs and we are increasing the capacity by upgoging the fleet with bigger aircraft. Uh, I think that on a general basis, this year we extended some of them. So we really need all our capacity. So for me, it's more just uh, trying to increase because next year we, we need an increase of capacity.